Hello and welcome to the appendix. What's the best credit card to get? Well, like everything else in personal finance, it depends on your needs. If you're a high school or college graduate, the best card for you is one that has no annual fee and an APR less than 17%. You know, a plain vanilla card. And yes, I'm aware that using the word vanilla is a microaggression. But look, I'm just gonna say it. White people, you are basic. Now, if you're financially responsible, have a good credit score, and always follow the two laws. Always pay your full monthly balance. And if you can't pay your full balance, stop using your credit card. You might look into getting a rewards card that gives you points or cash back for purchases. However, you should know that rewards cards have a higher APR than regular cards, so always follow the two laws. Now to find out if the card you want has a high APR or annual fees, you need to look for the card Sh Schumer box. <laughs> but seriously, when you're hunting for a new credit card, you need to look for the Schumer box because it contains all the information you need. Thanks to leftist darling Senator Chuck Schumer, Credit card companies are required by law to list the interest rate, fees, and fine print on any promotional material. To find out more information about how to read the Schumer box, check out Beverly Hartsog's Confessions of a Credit Junkie to learn what the fine print means. Finally, if you're looking for a credit card, be careful about doing any research on personal finance blogs. A lot of times, personal finance bloggers are sponsored by credit card companies. They'll have an article saying, this is our featured card, and it's the best card ever. No, 98% of the time, the featured card is not the best card ever. The personal finance blogger is just getting a kickback for everybody who signs up for the featured card. So be careful when researching anything about personal finance. A lot of times, personal finance bloggers are in the pockets of the capitalist pigs. Unlike us at the Communist Manifesto for Personal Finance, we're only sponsored by good, wholesome, Marxist-Leninist communism, and as we all know, communism has never deceived anybody.